Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross tutorial. This time round, we're going to talk about the brand new items that you can actually exchange for within the Chaos Exchange. And of course, with the brand new update for version 3.00, um, all these are actually much more, um, I'd say, handy to have around because as a free-to-play player, you're probably going to be struggling with the, um, the levels or the standard of play because of whalers within the game itself but now that we have come to the point of second anniversary for Ulta Macross Dana has taken note of certain things and of course they decided to make things slightly more easier for the players who are uh, playing for fun and of course for those who are you know paying tons and tons of money for the game um, which we know as whalers um, because they just toss their entire, probably their entire salary into the game every month. I don't know. Some people spend up to two to three thousand dollars a month just to play gacha games, which is insane. Um, yes, I I have seen before, and I've talked to a few people who actually do spend that amount of money. I have no idea what kind of jobs they do as as their own income. Uh, so yeah, so if they can afford to do so, good for them. Uh, it means they are supporting the franchise and of course um, keeping Macross alive for the rest of us who are slightly more poorer than, than them. Anyway guys, let's take a look at the uh, brand new items within the Chaos Exchange uh, which is under the menu settings, uh, menu tab and of course you go to the Chaos Exchange tab, tap that and of course you scroll all the way down to item exchange. Alright, so the four brand new items that you can find, not exactly brand new, there's only one that's brand new among the four, but you can uh, consider them brand new because these were never exchangeable before uh, up to this current update of the, the game, version 3.00. So we have the first thing which we all are looking forward to, which is the Rare Up Star. Um, for those who have been paying for Utamaku Pass, for you know since the first introduction of Utamaku Pass until now for every three months that you pay, uh, subscribe um, you will be given a, a free rare up star which allows you to evolve your um, your four star plates to five stars and of course your five star plates to a six star um, we're talking about those that have the capability to evolve and their cap levels are five stars and six stars all right so um, the other brand new item that we have talked about before in my other videos which is the secret stone this one is brand new and of course if you're wondering what it is used for this video will talk about all the four items that are exchangeable um, within the chaos exchange and of course we're gonna I'm gonna show you how you can use these items and probably we are gonna I'm gonna talk about how you can fully utilize them to the maximum capacity um, of within your collection itself because you don't want to end up wasting them away because these are very precious resources all right so um, the other two are definitely not um, you know unfamiliar items because we have seen them countless times within the last event of the month uh, which is now currently the third event of the month uh, back then when red boss events did not exist they were only obtainable through the last event of the month which is the one we're currently going through which is the high score versus um, event all right which we, if you guys are not familiar with what they are called they are basically your luck stones your large and small size luck stones which you can see through the the size of the the item itself <laughs> hey guys all right so here we go we're going to talk about each one of them if you guys are not familiar with it rare up star if you guys are not familiar with rare up star i'm sure we have talked about it um, countless of times in the past because this is definitely not a brand new item but this is just a refresher or maybe um, uh, extra information for those who are just starting out the game and they have no idea what the rare up star is because maybe my previous video uh, might not have been that clear about you, you know what rare up stars are all about and maybe you know, how you can use them because well back then my youtubing creation of videos were pretty rushed and not very well put together i would say <laughs> uh, i'm still pretty messy at this point in time but anyway guys <laughs> rare up star all right as you can see the whole bunch of japanese text here basically tells you what the rare up star is all about basically you can use the rare up star you know to evolve a plate all right and you can use it on on them you know when you enter the plates um i would say step up menu page um let's just show you an example 
All right, I do have a copy of the Rare Up Star available for use already. So I'm gonna show you what uh, you can do the rep, uh, what you can do with the Rare Up Star, and of course how you can apply it as. All right, so um, Rare Up Star. Basically, what you are going to do is you're gonna sort out your episode plates to five star and uh, sorry, five stars and four stars. And here we go. So I'm I'm forgot I forgot I'm supposed to change the. Um, let me see, rarity, I should change this to rarity There we go, so they're gonna sort out your episode plates through uh, via rarity You know, of course, the 5 stars being in the top Then followed by the maybe the fully evolved ones And you know, then the, you've got your 4 stars that are not evolved That kind of stuff Alright, so rare up stars are capable of evolving your 5 star episode plates Which has the cap uh, capacity to evolve to a 6 star and of course, of there, there is the four star episode plates. Let's scroll down. Let's see whether we can find any of them. Um, I have a buttload of episode plates, so we need to go through them clearly. Um, where are they? I'm looking for ones with the black star at the end. It's a lot of episode plates. Um, well, I have been playing for two years, so this is definitely what you would probably expect of an account with two years worth of play. Um, it isn't really that surprising because my account is definitely not um, something that amazing, unlike the accounts of the whalers out there. Alright, so I don't seem to see any... There we go, so we have four star episode plates um you know that can evolve to a five star so let's tap this i'm going to show you an example i'm not going to evolve this plate because it's not the ideal episode plate to evolve so if you scroll all the way to the end you can see that there is the rare up star icon here you just have to tap this and then of course they'll inform you that you you are going to use the rare up star to evolve this plate once it's used it is gone and of course you cannot revert back your actions and of course if you're wondering what the pink line here means it basically means your rare up star has an expiration date um from from the current date till the date stated in this pink option all right so it says here it will expire on the 19th of november 2019 at 2300 hours and 59 minutes Alright, so definitely you want to pay close attention to the expiration of the rare up star. Of course, if you have multiple copies due to, to the Utamaku Pass, you might have two copies of the rare up star. You can of course definitely tap the, um, the magnifying glass button to see which rare up star expires first. And of course, you want to make use of that rare up star before it expires. And of course, uh, not wasting it away because rare up star is extremely rare all right so here we go okay i'm gonna evolve a five star episode plate to a six star because that is the best use of a rare up star you're not gonna evolve a four star to a five star it is definitely not worth your rare uh, rare up star because well um, the rare up star, you, if you want to count it in math, your rare up star is equivalent to a 5 star episode plate. Um, because, you know, getting a second copy of an episode plate out of a gacha is extremely, extremely difficult unless your luck is ridiculously uh, insane. <laughs> of course, we have seen insane gacha pools out there countless times, but it just doesn't happen to us. So often anyway guys i am going to pick one of the episode plates that i really want to evolve um you know because i need the skills so i actually need a yellow episode plate so let me just go and um i'm gonna remove this and i'm gonna change it to a yellow so let's go with yellow because well my 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 current episode plate for high score purpose use um, isn't exactly powerful anymore so I definitely need to find a replacement so let's take a look at this I do need costume points for Cheryl's um, Chinese dress um, so I might consider having this evolve it does have a life skill um, for high score purposes probably uh, from looking at it is definitely a, um, a score and damage uh, effect so definitely worth considering then if you want to take uh, you want to take a look at the episode's full stats then of course you want to hold the image and of course you get to look at it so score and damage as i said and of course if you want to take note of which episode plates to evolve because of the special notes like this one mikumo has a healing effect and at the same time it also has a 
life skills support for high score professor so i might evolve mikumo's um episode plate i do want to consider um milane's plate as well even though i have uh, full costume points for this costume already but mainly because of the score and repeat and of course the the stats on the episode plate um, the total score at five, uh, 5 stars is definitely very high, 2-7 as compared to Mikumos which is much lower So if I were to aim for an episode plate worth for high score purposes I might want to consider the skills and the stats of the episode plate before evolving That kind of stuff So yeah, definitely definitely um, think about it You know, before you decide to use your uh, rare up star on uh, any of the episode plates because you don't really want to end up wasting them uh, however i do i do kind of want to um evolve the wait where is it um or oh, it's the pink one so you know because i do have the <laughs> crossover live episode plate um i definitely might want to consider it um, because of the the wonderful total stat that this episode plate does have and of course it has a score and damage as well um, my blue um, episode plate collection is pretty decent it can get me three uh, million high score um, and of course my the weakest set i have currently is actually the yellow one even though like uh, i mentioned in the last gacha video um, the yellow episode plates are ton uh, ton lot uh, that you know we are running out of resources to actually um, have them powered up so that kind of stuff so i i do kind of want to try using the rare up star on um the yellow episode plate that i currently need um to maybe break my own personal high score and of course for this current event that is currently going on um i can keep the crossover live episode plate for a different time um when it comes to you know an event that is of that color and of course because i'm getting a, another rare up star from the utamaku pass um, that's one of the other things that i want to consider you know because which one is more urgent at this point of time all right so i do want um i do want points for the costume for cheryl's china dress so i'm gonna go with this episode plate so i'm gonna fully evolve this so here we go we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys um uh, usage of a rap star of course this video vi this video is going to talk about all the four items um that you are currently capable of exchanging because of the brand new items that have been included into um the version 3.00 which is the rare up star fragment um the secret stone fragments the luck stone fragments and so on and so forth all right so here we go i'm going to evolve this episode plate so there we go they're going to inform you one last warning um, you're going to use the rare up star to evolve this episode plate to the six star version and of course once you do that the rare up star is going to disappear all right guys so um, i've already decided i'm going to go with this because i also need the costume points to unlock cheryl's costume so why not kill two birds with one stone and there we go we have the notification to say i have enough points to unlock the costume itself so i'll be doing that on my own time later after this video all right so here we go boom all right so um, if you're wondering, how do I get secret bots on an episode play that is fully evolved? Can I use a rare up star to gain an extra secret bot onto this episode play? Sadly to say no, the rare up star is only just to evolve the episode play to its full form. And that's it. In order to get secret bots, you need to maybe get a duplicate copy of the episode play. Or use a brand new item that was implemented into this version update as well which is known as the secret stone so let's go back into the chaos tab i actually pressed the wrong button and went to missions instead silly me <laughs> all right so here we are again chaos exchange and of course you want to go down to the item exchange and we're going to talk about the second item within um the chaos exchange which is the secret stone now the secret stones are only usable on um, fully evolved five star plates and fully evolved six star plates um so we're gonna do the explanation once again just like we did with rare up star so but before that i actually don't have a single piece of the 
secret stone so i am going to exchange for it and you do take note you need 100 pieces of the shards in order to exchange for one secret stone so 100 small shards equals to one duplicate copy of an episode plate if you want to consider it like that it's exactly the same as a rare up star you need 100 pieces of the rare up star shards in order to uh, exchange for maybe a duplicate copy of a four star episode plate or a five star episode plate but like i mentioned earlier it is definitely more worthwhile to evolve a five star to a six star rather than a four star to a five star all right so there's one other thing i didn't mention yet um there is this interesting uh, mechanic that was uh, kind of not known um to a lot of people because it wasn't really publicized fully um, where the game actually auto exchanges your shards for the item itself now i i came across this um, mechanic that was implemented kind of secretly well i have a few other friends i tried asking around whether they experienced it apparently they did not um, most of them actually were capable of ma manually exchanging the rare up star um, now this information is only uh, fixated onto the rare up star itself um, where once you have obtained 100 pieces of the fragments the game actually auto exchanges the fragments into the rare up star for you and of course they will pop up a warning screen to tell you the expiration of the rare up star itself now guys if you guys encountered such a, a mechanics a mechanics I don't mechanism within this current update um, for version 3.00 if you guys have ever noticed noticed it before do let me know in the comment section down below so whoever watches this video um, can check the comments and then um, clarify themselves in the future when they are watching this video maybe three months or one year later um, <laughs> if i am still playing with <laughs> across i don't know so anyway guys um let me know in the comments down below if you experienced it yourself i will try and dig up a um, screenshot of the information being promoted during the sp broadcast if i if it i if i can find it i should place it in this video right at this point of time here um you can see for yourself i will highlight i will probably highlight and pinpoint that phrase that says that the game will auto exchange uh, the 100 uh, fragments to the rare up star itself um so far it has not occurred for any of the other three items so that's kind of a relief uh, although i think the other items may not have um you know an expiration unlike the rare up star so let's take a look and see the secret stone whether it does have the expiration or not i do know for sure the luck stones do not have an expiration because it is definitely an old item and we are somewhat familiar with the items um, if you have been playing the game for a very long time all right so here we go exchanging the secret stone okay i'm gonna change 100 pieces of the secret stone uh, fragments um for one piece of the fully formed secret stone here we go and of course they'll inform us that we have gotten a copy of the secret stone so unlike the rare star there was no notification um, to say that the secret stone has an expiration so you can actually stack them up um, so that's a pretty fantastic stuff um, you can always keep multiple copies of the secret stones and of course you can decide to use it later on any of the episode plates that you want to fully power up their luck um just to have you know maybe the kira kira effect if you guys are still not familiar with what, with what the kira kira effect is let me just show you guys because that's what we're gonna try and achieve right now with the secret stone all right so here we go we're gonna do the rarity then we're gonna change it to six stars and of course there we go boom so um i probably might change i should change this to luck all right so as you can see all my episode plates that has plus five luck or more has the kira kira effect on the episode plate itself now how do you actually get this sparkly sparkly effect which is also known as kira kira effect in japanese um basically you have to have the episode plate with a plus five luck then once they have gotten a plus five luck the full five slotted full leaf clo uh, luck leaf clover is revealed and of course you have to slot in the luck stones which are the next two items we're going to talk about later in order to full um to to have this kira effect um around the episode plate image itself so you need to have 
five copies of the small oh, sorry five copies of the small and large um luck stones to slot into each of the luck leaf notes which is the let's let me just show you guys um let me see if i have an episode plate um that has not slotted uh, apparently i have slotted most of them <laughs> okay so yeah here we go so as you can see this episode plate of milanes has black notes instead of the the rainbow glowing ones that you've seen in the previous epi uh, episode plates these notes are empty they are not slotted at all so if you actually tap onto them they will tell you you're gonna slot in one of the luck stones you know of course then you will gain that special ability um which we will talk about in another video apparently i have not made another a video talking about what the effects are for the luck leaf so <laughs> that will come in the future but guys we're gonna talk about this right now um using the items that are currently exchangeable within the chaos exchange all right so you need to fully slot the entire luck leaf then of course you get the um sparkly effect on the episode plates all right so now we are going to use the um secret stone to power up one of the episode plates um that probably has you know plus four luck so i probably might want to consider which episode plate um, to use because um the plate that you're going to select is going to be very important you might want to consider the total score then of course the effects so and of course the special notes if they do have attached to it from the looks of it i think um Makinas is looking like the, the way to go um or i could use the secret stones to um you know power up another episode plate that is more useful like this one this Makinas episode plate is definitely useful because it has the item note attached to it and i definitely would love to have it sparkle but because i am a youtuber and i'm teaching you how to do things so i'm going to sacrifice my secret stone and of course use it on a plate that's probably not so useful um yeah so let's go um if i'm gonna do it i think i'm gonna go with ranka's episode plate because she's my waifu so yeah i guess i guess this would probably be uh i don't know i don't know ranka's definitely is not one of the better um high score achieving episode plates but nah i think makinas is still the way to go because she does have a life skill as a s rank and it has you know two different skills um yeah i guess let's go with maki maki okay so tapping on this as you can see i've not slotted any of this so i, I wonder if i actually have enough secret stones let me let me just let me just um not, not secret stones luck luck stones oh god i only have four so I need one more, which is exactly what I have in the exchange. All right, that's fine. So we are good to go. All right, so just making sure I have enough of the items just to show you guys um, the um, secret board adding and of course um, slotting in of the luck stones and of course getting that Kira Kira effect. I, I kind of went on a whim with this video, so I'm not scripting anything. Uh, everything just fell into place just nicely. <laughs> <laughs> all right so in order to use the secret stone you notice there's this brand new pink button tap on it then of course it'll say that you're going to use the following item below um, to add a secret board to your plate so yes and of course boom um, the secret stone is equivalent to one extra copy of this episode plate and of course here we go once like like you would see when you get a duplicate copy of an episode plate it will unlock a page of the secret board with more points to the valkyrie or costume and of course you have the luck note and of course extra stat notes so we're going to fully power up this episode plate to a plus five luck and of course we'll unlock the last leaf to the luck uh, luck leaf that we require to power up in order to have that kira kira effect so we will come back to this episode plate in just a moment so we have just fully um, described to you how to use secret stone and we're going to go back into the chaos exchange now to exchange for the luck leaf uh, sorry luck um, luck stones um, the large and the small one so i'm gonna do the exchange for both of them at the same time because they are exactly the same it's just that the the smaller one is used for a fully evolved five star plate instead of a fully evolved six star plate which is what the large one is used for so here we go i'm going to exchange for a large um 
Luxstone. There we go. So using 100 pieces again. And of course, the notification that you've obtained the item with no expiration date. And of course, here we go, the small one. So I can actually exchange for two pieces of it because I have 200 pieces of the, um, the fragments for this. But I just need one just to show you an example. All right, so pay close attention to the um, warning Japanese text below. Basically, what does this mean? It basically means you are short of the item. You do not have enough for exchange. Uh, you also can take note of the pink button that is now dialed out instead of highlighted it means that you are definitely not capable of exchanging for the item uh, currently on hand uh, unlike the small luck stone which is still currently highlighted because i left 100 uh, 100 pieces of the fragments uh, on standby in case i would require to use um, you know the luck stones uh, in the future but looking at the quantity that i have currently on hand 87 pieces is a buttload so there is no need to worry about that all right so let's get back to the episode plate um and of course i'm going to show you how to slot in the luck stones to the luck notes and of course you want to pay close attention once i've slot in the fifth luck stone because that's when the kira kira effects comes in and that will be the end of this video so anyway guys let's do this a quick amount, uh, a quick time probably um, slotting in the <laughs> uh, luck stones into the leaf itself and of course you get to see the sparkling effect. Alright so I just slotted in the fifth stone, here we go so you get to see the animation of the plate gaining a sparkling effect. If you have gotten your own copy um, sparkling before you probably will have seen this animation before. Of course, the main diva on your screen will appear and of course show you the effect of the plate going sparkly. So that's pretty fantastic. Sadly to say, I did not have Makina on my main screen. Uh, hence, Min Mei is the one that showcases the sparkling effect for this episode plate. So there I go. You guys now know what is the four items within the Chaos Exchange used for. Um, of course, we have definitely introduced to the brand new item which is the secret stone which is the only one that is brand new if you have not watched my older videos regarding the um, rare up star and of course the luck stones um, this is a good time to do a refresher for yourself or maybe to gain brand new knowledge for full time across if you are brand new to the game itself hopefully as usual my videos are useful to you guys and of course thank you guys so much for watching to the end of this tutorial hopefully um, you guys leave comments about you know the the stuff that i've asked you before whether you can help me confirm certain things or maybe let me know um your appreciation for this video by hitting that like button down below and of course subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and i will see you very soon in another Uta Macross tutorial video because i'm actually going to record another one right after this one so whew, a lot to do hey guys bye